everyone and welcome to Linda's Italian Kitchen. My name is Linda and on this channel you will find a lot of Italian delicious recipes, all traditional but also healthy. So if you would like to learn how to cook authentic Italian food or if you're following a Mediterranean diet or if you're looking for a new delicious but also healthy recipes, this is the right channel for you. In addition, at the end of each video, you will find also the nutritional information for the dish that I just cooked. So if you are counting calories, this is exactly what you are looking for. This is the first recipe I present on this channel and I decided to surprise you and teach you how to cook strawberry risotto. Yeah, you understood well, strawberry risotto. I want to start to say that this is not a sweet dish. Is a main course. This dish is so unique, so tasty and on the same time so easy to prepare that I believe this is the right dish for a romantic dinner such as Valentine's Day or an anniversary dinner but obviously it's also perfect if you want just to surprise your partner. So are you ready to start to cook with me strawberry risotto? Let's start to see the ingredients that we need to make this delicious risotto. For two people we will need 3 quarters of a cup of rice for risotto. This is roughly 160 grams. For this particular recipe I'm using carnaroli rice. This is because it absorbs the aroma very well and remains always al dente. Obviously you can use other types of rice but the final risotto might be different. For example if you decide to use arborio rice your risotto will be creamier. Then we need 1 ounce of Prosecco or dry wine. Please do not use Pumante or sweet wines. It must be a dry wine because this is a main course, it's not a dessert. We need also 16 ounces of vegetable broth. Actually, I suggest you to use a bit more because the amount you need might vary for different types of rice. 2 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. To be honest, in a traditional risotto, you must use butter. So if you want, you can use two tablespoons of butter. However, using the oil, we will make this risotto healthier. Then we need also five ounces of strawberries and 1.8 ounce of cheese. For this recipe, I decide to use goat cheese. However, if you prefer a stronger flavor, you can use grated parmigiano. If you want a more delicate flavor instead, you can use just double cream. Finally, we will need also half a shallot and a pinch of salt. Let's start by choosing a beautiful strawberry that we will set aside for decoration. We then cut all the other strawberries into small pieces like those and once finished, we will put most of the strawberries in a container and reserve some of them. We will then add the Prosecco to the container with the, most of the strawberries. Then we clean the shallot and cut it finely. We also break up the cheese. In this way, it will melt easily when we will add it to the risotto. We start with heating up the broth in a pot as we will need hot broth to add to the rice. In another pan, we heat the oil and when it's hot, we add the shallot and let it cook over very low heat until it becomes transparent and soft that will take around 2 minutes. Then we will add the rice and mix well to make sure that all the grains are covered by the oil. We will let the rice toast for a couple of minutes over a medium low heat. Then we will use a strainer to separate the Prosecco from the strawberries and we will add the Prosecco directly to the rice. We will let the Prosecco evaporate and later we will add broth and most of the strawberries. At this point, we will need to stir and let all the broth absorb. When all the broth is absorbed, we will add more broth and we keep stirring. It is not necessary to stir constantly, however, you have to do it often, otherwise the rice will stick to the bottom. When the rice is half cooked, we can add the rest of the strawberries. This step allows to further enhance the flavor of the strawberries in the risotto. If you want a less pronounced uh, strawberry flavor, you can add all the strawberry at the beginning. When the rice is cooked, turn off the heat. The risotto must not be too dry. See, if I draw a wave with a spoon, it must do like this. At this point, we can add the cheese and let it melt well. 
Let's then taste the risotto and if necessary we can add a bit of salt. Now we cover the risotto and let it rest for 10 minutes. The risotto is now ready to be plated and we can use a strawberry for decoration. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it, if you are interested in other similar content you can subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to not miss any other recipe. Thank you for watching e buon appetit!